This is TJ Chambers from the YouTube channel The TJ Chambers and today what I want to show you is a clock in space that I found in one of NASA's photos that I found to be really interesting since um, well NASA went to space and was able to take pictures of the earth so I mean there's no reason for there to be any fake videos or pictures or anything like that but I was just checking them out and I found something pretty unusual that I just wanted to make a short video to share I did make another video with a a bunch more uh, pictures so I'm just gonna just show a couple pictures here and as you saw I went to the went to this NASA website and if you look up here in the top URL you can see I really am at NASA's website this is from Apollo Mission 4 1967 there we go and what I'm gonna do is just open up these pictures get the high resolution and I'm just gonna copy this URL and go over to this Pixlr Dot com it's a image editor just kind of like a Photoshop but it's online paste in the URL I'm going to get this picture straight from NASA so you know I didn't do anything to the picture and you can do this yourself so what I was doing is I was just coming through and just messing around I adjusted the brightness now as soon as I adjust the brightness I see a couple things happening there's like right now it looks it's like something is exploding out of here and there's this I don't know like this white light or something shooting out from the bottom which is weird and I see something showing up here and I see something showing up here in space which is kind of weird but let's see what we come up with nothing with brightness Contrast, nothing. And there's something that's like right here in the image that's really standing out, not changing much. Okay, so I cancel that. And what I like to do is come down to color balance. And when I offset the colors, like weird things start showing up. So we see you got something up here in this top. This thing here is really standing out as well. And it see like this shouldn't be happening there shouldn't be this explosion coming off out of the shade so that's like something definitely weird and as I mentioned here there's something happening so there's a lot of stuff that's going on here in space that shouldn't be here so definitely showing that just seems like this picture has been manipulated or something going on there's like some Kind of like you see some round blotchiness, like we shouldn't be seeing any of this, and I'll show you other pictures. But if you look up here, when I saw this, I was like, what is that? It looks like a clock. So let me, um, I'll come back to that in a second. And when I start adjusting these other colors, like definitely see like some round thing right here. And this whole area now is like a rectangle which is also pretty bizarre just the colors so it's definitely a rectangle up there all right let's try gonna leave this as is click OK Let's go up to let's say fifty percent. Oops. And come on over. So now looking at this, I can see an outline of a circle through most of this. And I see this here, and I see this. I'm like, this is a clock. Why is there a clock out in space? This doesn't make any sense at all that this is out there. Like, 
And it's pretty big too. 20, go back to 14. Oh, I want to go to 14. So this is the full size, <clears throat> well, the full size picture at 14%, just to when I say full size to fill the space, not at 100% because otherwise it would be too big and I won't be able to show it. But this is a pretty big clock if it's supposed to be really out in space compared to Earth. And this is pretty unusual, and I'm going to show you some other stuff. I don't know what this is either. This is kind of strange itself. And it just so happens that this is the first photo that I'm sharing. And this is um, from November 9th, 1967, the coastal Brazil, Atlantic Ocean, West Africa, Sahara, looking northwest. As photographed from the unmanned Apollo 4 Earth Orbital Space Mission. This picture was taken when the spacecraft 17 and the Saturn IVB stage were orbiting Earth at an altitude of 9,000 nautical miles. Now this is an unmanned spacecraft, but if we look here, we really have to ask, did an unmanned spacecraft really take this picture? Because there's a clock on the wall right here. How did a clock get on the wall if this is supposed to be out in space? So that means this cannot be out in space, which means, does this mean they were not able to really send an unmanned spacecraft out why is there an explosion coming out of the top of the earth in the shade so you can't say oh it's just solar rays because it's in the shade now what is this light coming out from the bottom of the earth shooting which appears to be shooting from right to left what's all this all this shading stuff that's just uneven and everything else it's just what's this big smudge mark or whatever what's this circular thing in here so there's a lot of unusual things in this picture so now we have to ask did they really send something to space because obviously this was not taken in space oops let me and I'm not gonna look at that so I just want to show you an example of another one. So this is the same day. It's got a photograph from Apollo 4 unmanned Earth orbital space mission. So seems to be the same thing. It's pretty much the same description. Let's go to high res. Open in a new tab. Okay, so we take this and we're going to go back to, going to paste in, this is the, just so you see, this is the NASA photo that I'm pulling in. That's a photo I might be pulling in. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're at 13%, can't go too much bigger than that because otherwise you won't be able to see it. Anyway, um, I'm going to go back up to adjustments. See if there's anything that jumps out with the uh, brightness and contrast. Nope, nothing that I can really see there. Looks pretty clean. Nope, don't see anything there. Alright, so brightness and contrast, not really seeing anything. Oh, I want the hue and saturation. I don't want to do that. So let's go to color balance. Change in the color. Now remember, we went to red, so I just boosted on red, and we see nothing, absolutely nothing. We see a little bit of whatever this is here. Um, we see this shadow. Um, showing some edginess or whatever but in red we see absolutely nothing in space but let me cancel out of this but that's unusual because look at what we see in space in this picture why is there such a drastic difference between the two Let's check some different color. 
So green, you still see a little bit out here, but it seems to be changing. But we also see something over here. But we don't see anything like really significant. Nothing that jumps out like that other picture. And when we go to blue, now we see something out here. Not sure what that is. See a little bit here. But overall, I mean, huge difference between the two. Let's play around with the colors a little more. Yeah, not, not much there in this one. So let's check out this one here. So November 9th, um, Earth is viewed from 10,000 miles. Sp uh, Apollo 4, unmanned test flight, made a great eclipse around Earth. That's a test of the translunar motors. High speed entry required. 70 millimeter camera. So, same picture seemed to be um, taken the same day. Zoom in. Assuming it's just uh, still the same aircraft. So this would be the third photo shown, which two of them are completely different. Let me go open image. Okay, let's see if this one's got anything different. Nothing really jumping out here. Cancel that. Nothing there. Color balance. So now we see something else happening here. Got this line that runs through the shadow. And now we've got to where it like, looks like the Earth is some type of rocket ship with some kind of something coming off the back of it and now we change it to green and we still have the little something out here in space whatever whatever that is whatever is being hidden now it's completely different now when I go to blue we've got something down here and we've got a whole bunch of stuff over here all kinds of things going on so there's that stuff coming back in nothing when the red is set off bring the green so there we go we've got another picture that's got some other different things that are completely different than the other two which to me just seems to be pretty unusual and this last one we will take a look at so this one same day Okay, I'll just click on it this time. So really, I don't think there should be this much significant difference between the space of the program. I mean, uh, between the space area of these pictures. So starting to see something here. Got a little bit of blue there. We haven't even changed the colors yet. Still in brightness and contrast. OK. 
Okay. Yep. See, there it is showing up. Now we've got this stuff showing up here. And we've got this stuff showing up here. It's almost like going up a wall. So it looks like it's going up a wall, up to a flat surface. Just curious what this could be. What is this showing? And green. So what it seems to me that possibly what this could be, they've got this fake earth in a room. There's the wall. They've got this fake earth in a room. There's a clock that they tried to cover up. Which, why would they do that? Uh, put it in a room with a clock? I have no idea. So they tried to do that. I don't know what all this is. This here could be a flat wall as well. That maybe that's what this is. It's some type of wall or some type of black curtain or something. And they've got this fake earth that they created with the light shining on it from this direction. Um, just some weird stuff that I found just hidden in the background of um, just of NASA's photos. And I mean, if you want to see them yourself, you can just go to this website. The, spaceflight.nasa.gov slash gallery slash images slash Apollo and this one is Apollo 4 so um, yeah that's it right there that address I just gave you and you can check them out I haven't even gone through all of these just to kind of see what I uh, might be able to find so see what you can find in them and if you have answers about any of this stuff let me know